Alright, hello there, and welcome to the second quick update on what's going to happen next, on what the asset series will be about, and the progress of my little game demo that I will base my Blender Game Engine tutorials around. So probably the most interesting thing first, what will the asset tutorials be about? And I've thought a lot about what could be interesting to you guys, and what also hasn't been done much before, and skipped through some of my older concept art, again this was for the game Rust, as I've mentioned in the other video already, and I thought like, hmm, this might be a bit too, I don't know, general, like, a lot of people do these tools and weapons and I feel like that's not really a good start, so we want something to keep on working with. And I thought, what is something that we can build upon? And I came to the conclusion that it might be very nice and very special, in a way, since I haven't found many tutorials on this, to do modular parts, modular environment parts. And for that purpose, I've set up this little demo scene. As you can see here, this scene consists mostly of just three parts, which is the pillars, the ground, uh, the ground tiled texture, and the walls. And I will create tutorials and show you how to create a tileable wall, and not just a texture, but a wall, a full model that tiles, with more features than this simple demo here has right now, so corner parts, um, different variations of this asset. Then I will create a tutorial on tileable textures, like the ground plane, and also how to modify it to create yeah, tileable textures with some um, extrusions, some bumps on it, so some real model and not just the texture. And later we will focus also on, as I've said, variations, some uh, other environmental stuff like stones, like little asset that can break up the symmetry and don't make this uh, scene look so generic. Lastly, I'd like to show you the progress on my game demo I've announced. I've played a bit with the logic and thought about things that I could add, and all those things will be explained in different tutorials. I mean, the logic on this one right now is quite messy as I've put together a lot of stuff and haven't really thought about how to set it up nicely and cleanly. And yeah, so I will separate all those things like the HUD, how can you set up some sort of mana bar, energy bars, life bars, how you can set up resource uh, counters, resource values and use them in the game how you can create enemies and make them move toward a target and actually damage yourself or similar stuff like that. So I've played with a lot of things, random size of enemies, um, sounds of this click marker so they get, um, you get kind of notified when you click something. I've got this marker that when the enemy comes into the radius of your, let's say, friendly tower, you get this exclamation mark at the top right, so warning signs in the HUD that connect to sensors and so on and so forth. So I'm so yeah, I'm kind of um, building up on this and creating more and more stuff and will slowly, like with the RTS camera tutorial, create more and more tutorials regarding that. Later, I might also do tutorials on how to put all of this together and create a full game, but I think a full game series might be too complex for now, as we have not even yeah, covered the basics yet. Alright, so that's already it. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going to happen next. Um, luckily I have my holidays right now, so I've got a lot of time to create tutorials. But again, I don't want to rush them, so I want to create quality tutorials that explain a lot and don't miss out on too much. So yeah, thanks for your great support, I hope I can give something back with my tutorials. And again, I've mentioned that in some tutorials, but haven't received much of those suggestions. Make suggestions, ask for things you want to know, so I get a better idea on what you expect, since I feel like some people want to see um, more of the game asset things, some people want to see more of the the game engine things so just make keep making suggestions and help me out and want to create thanks for watching